There was a lot to see in the skies over the Fleet Science Center in Balboa Park, where morning turned into afternoon, and everyone wanted to have a look at the peekaboo astronomical event happening before their very eyes. It's going to come up here, cast a shadow across the U.S. The moon um, um, blocks the sunlight. Five-and-a-half-year-old Maxwell Kagan considers himself a kindergarten astronomer, and he shared this special moment with his grandma Carver. He loves any exploration of space. He can tell you about where all the planets are, right, and how far they are from the sun. It looks like the moon is, is, is passing the sun. This was a party for everyone who came to experience the eclipse that featured about 60 to 65 percent of the moon covering the sun at its most intense. For Adam Cruz, it was a perfect opportunity for him and his partner. I made sure that the eclipse was today just for her. The picture-perfect moment happened to come on Tony Saya's 32nd birthday. She's an Aries, by the way. I'm all fire all the time, lots of energy, and so this is very uh, typical for me. It feels like a, my life is an eclipse every day. A solar eclipse brings a lot of excitement. You hear wow and cool and maybe even goofy, like the glasses you have to wear in order to watch it. Now we're getting to totality. Uh, wow. This is great. NASA broadcast the swath of totality from Mexico to Maine for those who couldn't be there. Sandy Hurst decided to watch the old-fashioned way using an empty cereal box with foil. You take the sun behind you and it's going to come through the hole and if you look in there you'll see, if you, ha you have to manage it, and you'll see the sun on the bottom of the box. And a good time was had by all. And in our country today, millions of people all doing the same thing at the same time, very rare, so it makes it that much more special, even more so to come together with your community and experience it. This is my year. I could feel it, I know it, and so I'm putting that into the universe. And today the universe looked and maybe listened just a little bit closer. M.G. Perez, KPBS News.